Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Q, and today we are talking about stands. Before I get into that, uh, do yourself with a favor. Please like and subscribe to the show. Leave a comment below. Help your boy out with the algorithm. All right, let's get into it. Reloop has dropped a bombshell, at least to me. Uh, most people probably would not care about this, but uh, this is something that's fascinating to me. I cannot believe that nobody has thought about it until now. Now, I could be wrong. I could be absolutely be wrong, and I'll, I'll give the benefit of the doubt to the internet. Maybe there is somebody who put a stand out there. There hasn't been a stand that does what this does, though. The difference between this is this is a Z stand. Uh, it's a lot of it's configurable. You can raise it higher or lower, whatever. The special feature, the special sauce that makes this great is there is a USB hub in here. And the reason why I've been crying about USB hubs for the longest time, and I want to put them in mixers, put them in controllers, and everything like that, is because laptops in the last couple of years have been getting rid of USBs. Most MacBooks right now have two, two slots. MacBook Pros, the bigger ones, have four. But generally, even PCs, you're lucky if you can get three on there. Four is a special day. You got to sing in the rain, but generally two to three tops. And if you're like me, my setup, I'm using two USB slots right off the bat, just right off the, even before I even get started, I'm using two. So for somebody like this, this is why I loved uh, the Native Instruments Z2, because it had a hub in the back. And this is why I love the Prime 4 and what Denon's doing. And, you know, Pioneer's finally coming along, too, and they're putting the hub back there. Rain put the hub back there for the Rain 12s. I was blanking out for a second. It's not just to them, but I was just blanking out for a second. So Rain put the hub in the back in the uh, Rain 70s for the Rain 12s. It's a lot of Rains. And they're still used up for something. So average DJ use. If you have a controller or, you know, you want to plug something into your laptop, two are already gone. So, and especially if you have a laptop that's using one of these spots to charge, which gets my other beef about uh, MacBooks. But this is not a MacBook bashing party. This is a reloop stand hub party, all right? That sounded terrible. I think reloop has done something really ingenious here. So, it has... Four USB Type A. I wish it was all USB C, but it, you know what? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Four USB Type A 3.0 slots. Two Type C 3.2 slots. One for power from your laptop, from the stand to the laptop, and one from power from your brick, your laptop brick, to go into the stand. So you've added four extra USB slots and their legacy Type A slots. And you've now add a spot to charge your laptop as well, freeing up your laptop to have. Because the other thing with the hubs is that um, most hubs, there's a delay or whatever. So it's better to plug your controller or whatever directly into your laptop. So um, that's usually why if you're, one of these slots is charging your laptop and the other one is going to a controller, your SOL if you don't have any more spots on your, your laptop. So this is why this is a genius thing, and this is, helps alleviate a lot of problems. There's quite a few laptops that uh, handle USB-C for charging. Uh, HP Envy's, the new ones do. Um, I think a couple of 360s do. I believe, and do not quote me on this, I will put it in the, in the video if I'm wrong, but I believe Dell can charge over its usb as well as their barrel plug for their laptop. But Dell is another one that some of them have three. I think the Dell 13 has three and the 15 has four. It may be, but uh, they're all USB-C and, you know, legacy. There's no legacy. But anyways, I, I digress. We're moving off of Dell here. The point is, is that the hub saves people, especially mobile DJs who have to plug things in. I've been in situations where I've run out of slots on my laptop and I'm just kicking myself. So, you know, it's a thing that happens. This may not be a big deal for all DJs, but I think for people 
who are cutting it close with the things that are plugged into your laptop at any given time, this is a huge deal for at least for you guys. One thing to note that this is not for every laptop. So do not go out and run out and buy this thing and then just plug any laptop in there. If your laptop does not accept power over USB-C, you will break your laptop plugging this thing in there. So do not <laughs> plug in random power sources into your laptop. Make sure you know what this thing supports. I leave the power draw or what it, it can accept is up to 60 watts, but it does have circuit board to regulate power that goes to your laptop. So it definitely could take less, but you know, it depends on the laptop for sure. Pretty much all the MacBooks are supported by this and a couple of the PCs. I'm not too quite, I'm not quite sure exactly which PCs are accepted and which ones aren't. So uh, <laughs> do some research before you plug your laptop into this. But I definitely think this is a cool idea and anything for USB hubs. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think and leave a comment below. Uh, was this something that you need? Do you run out of USB spots on your laptop or are you good? You're golden. You got enough. You got enough to. <laughs> Do you have enough to pass around? Uh, let me know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, peace out. Bitches.